morning, everybody. You don't have either one of us on camera today because we have a crazy busy Monday coming up and we both wanted to get this done early. So I thought I would just come here and do the opening of the three morning calendars. And then um, we'll see a little bit later for beauty calendars. But anyway, here's the 24 teas of Christmas. Today is day five. Today's tea is an oh nice Earl Grey Citrus Black Tea. Kind of like a really nice base of tea that most people get under the Lipton brand. <laughs> but I'm sure this one tastes a lot better. So that's our tea for today. And then next up, I'm gonna do Phil's Keurig calendar. Because I dropped it on the floor once. So when Phil comes down from getting ready for work, he's gonna have number five, which is, oh, this is kind of a wild one. Green Mountain Dark Chocolate Hazelnut Coffee. I've never seen that one before either. What's nice about this calendar, there's some really unique, well, not unique, maybe to some people, but I've never seen any of these for Keurig before. So um, Phil said the red velvet was amazing yesterday. I did not try it. I want to let him have his coffee, but I might buy some now that he said it was really good. Um, and last but not least, we've got our Bon Maman calendar today, and I'm just looking for number five, which is down here at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And today's little ditty is wishing you the best. Well, thank you. Oops, I dropped the camera. Um, and yes, we are struggling to get the jelly out. Oh, actually today it is, oh, it's interesting. Pear, cocoa, I don't know, something special. <laughs> oh, spread. Pear, cocoa, nibs? I guess there's little nibs in there. I don't know if you can see that. That's weird. We didn't. You definitely did not have this one last year. I would have remembered that pear cocoa nibs spread. Interesting. That I might try on toast this morning. All right, guys. See you in a little bit for probably the cats next. Good morning, turtle. Mommy, what's that light? I don't like it. We're doing this pretty early in the morning, so it's not that light outside yet. But we've got the advent calendar, and I think you're going to be very disappointed today because yesterday you got your fuzzy ball. And today you're probably gonna get something stupid you don't like. All right, so it's number five. Here it is, look, turtle here, look, number five. Oh, she's leaving. She's like, I don't care about that light so much. Oh, and she won't care for this either, look. It's a hard bell toy. You love, here, show everybody how much you love a hard bell toy. Turtle, look, look, hard bell toy. What do you think about that? What do you think about this hard bell toy? What do you think about that? Do you like it? Do you like the hard bell? No, not even a little bit. Mommy, is there anything else? <laughs> All right. Tell everybody your glow eyes are speaking. You don't like it. All right, we'll see you later. Hi, everybody. It's day five of the advent calendars, and now this is the beauty section and the Jane's thing of the day. Today is a weird thing of the day. Um, some of you may have known or that are friends with us that Phil and I have been together since 2002. Um, I moved here to Illinois about 20 years ago and have been with Phil ever since. Um, prior to that, believe it or not, I had a first marriage uh, with two stepdaughters and uh, a gentleman who's a little older than me. Um, it didn't work out and uh, you know we're still friendly and that's a good thing. It wasn't a, a harsh divorce, thank God. Um, but I heard from my uh, stepdaughter from my first marriage yesterday that um, my prior mother-in-law has passed away on December 1st. Uh, she was 90 years old. I'm not going to say any names because I don't want them brought into my little YouTube thing, but um, uh, it kind of blew me away because um, I love that woman. She was amazing. Uh, I know I haven't been there in 20 years and I'm now kicking myself because I hadn't reached out to her in the 20 years because it was weird, right? You got divorced, you're not sure should you talk to the ex people or not. <laughs> um, but this woman was the classiest lady you would have ever met. 
Um, she made the most beautiful holidays from what I can remember. It's again, plus 20 years ago now. Um, but she used to have a Christmas tree in her attic. I remember that my ex-husband used to bring down, that was already pre-decorated with uh, all the ornaments and she's had a sheet over it and she just brought it down just like that, which I thought that was kind of cool. And um, but she was the nicest, nicest lady and I was really sad to hear it. Um, and I was also mad at myself for not um, reaching out to her in 20 years. It's terrible. I think maybe I talked to her once in the 20 years, but that's probably not enough. Uh, but anyway, so that's some sad news. Uh, that I found out yesterday, along with, of course, you know, in a few days from now is the anniversary of my dad's passing. So it seems like the holidays seems to be the worst time of the year when it comes to stuff like this, or maybe it just feels like it, right? Because it's the holidays. Um, but anyway, more of a reason to try to keep happy <laughs> as much as possible and try to enjoy your life uh, before you don't have any. Uh, so make sure you give those you love a hug, the usual speech people say, right? Give your, you know, people you love a hug and uh, don't forget to reach out to people if you haven't done so. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and open up some beauty calendars and then uh, take a look at the rest of the day with uh, Phil and I. All right, we're going to start with Eve Roche today. Number five, 20 days till Christmas. All right, Eve Roche, what are you giving me today? Um, it is damaged hair shampoo. Oh, sulfate free. I can use this one. The other day I checked and the other shampoo I received um, from L'Occitane I gave to Phil because that had sulfates in it, but this one does not. So I can actually use this one. Hooray. Okay. Number five for Clarence is right here. What do we get? All right. It's not my comfort scrub, but it is a gentle foaming cleanser. This I do not recognize from last year, so this is something new, I think. Um, so yeah, a nice foaming cleanser for the old face, and let's see how it works. Okay, L'Occitane, right here, number five. Oops, <laughs> squashed in. I'm gonna guess this is the conditioner for the shampoo, possibly from the other day. Yes, it is. Now, Phil does not use conditioner, typically. Um, but usually there's no sulfates and conditioners. So I probably can use this with a different shampoo. Um, cause I do like the way this stuff smells. So almond or almond type, uh, shampoo and conditioner. Now I have both, but Phil gets the shampoo and I get the conditioner. Okay. Lovery. And yes, I did push it in again prior to opening it today. Cause I didn't want to break it down. Uh, so number five. Okay. Okay. I'm putting it down. <laughs> it's a little red something. Oh. It says it is socks. Hmm. I'll just open these said socks and see what they look like. Take off the label. Oh, cute. Just a little pair of red socks for holidays. Well, that's kind of nice. Now, I think the company's name is Lowry Gifts. Oh, I keep saying Lowry because it looks like a W. Lovery Gifts. Um, so I don't think it's going to be all makeup and, and beauty, but a little pair of red socks is cute, and I will definitely wear those. Take Heels calendar number five. Ooh, motorcycle. Cool. <laughs> Let's see if it gives us some kind of cool thing like that. Okay, we have Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Botanical Cleansing Oil. So it's a cleansing for your face. So this obviously goes with the Midnight Recovery um, Serum I got the other day. So I'll put those two together and use them together. And last but not least, it's the body shop. <laughs> Yesterday I had a whole rant about how I screwed up the other day about saying L'Occitane the whole time. And I was like, I, you know, was, felt bad about that. And then at the end of that yesterday, I said something like, okay, L'Occitane. And I'm like, I, I watched the video I was editing and I'm like, really, Jane? What is, ugh, must be the medication. But anyway, this is the body shop. And we're going to look at number five today, which is right here on top from the body shop. <laughs> it's just pass. Uh, it's just bad that I can get number five out. Mm, there we go. Okay. Ah, all right, beautiful. Okay, today it says, I'm sure I'm reading French with me. Um, message five people in your phone book and tell them why they're so awesome. Okay, maybe. <laughs> I have a few people I would say that too. All right. Body shot with chamomile cleansing butter. So I'm thinking it's for your, yeah, it's for, it must be for your face because it even says for sensitive skin. Hmm, I've never had a cleansing butter before. That's interesting. 
Ooh, it's very silky. It smells nice. Hmm. Let's see what that's all about. Let's look on their website and see how the proper use is of it because I've never had a cleansing butter before. Have you? If you've had a cleansing butter, tell me below and let me know what you think about that. All right. Well, there's today's haul. We got a nice pair of socks and a whole bunch of nice little things from different people. Um, so yeah, no complaints about this haul today. Well, day five. Yes. It just, we usually before the show, or show, maybe a show, before we tape this, we um, check whatever we're looking for for the numbers so we don't sit there going, where's number five? You know, mm -hmm. and that's what we just did for 10, 15 minutes, finding where's number <laughs> like five? 10 minutes. Because this calendar, I'm going to push it over a little bit, this calendar is so damn big, but the numbers are so like bound into the colors, which is nice. And they're fine outline too. But you it can just... barely see them. Oh, well, with Wall Street Journal calendar, so far I still feel like it's better than last year's calendar, but. Oh yeah, that's that's the only complaint I would have with so this. So we already took out number five. Calendar. Here you go, you want to read it for them? Yes. And it is Tenuta Fenice from Sicily. A nice Italian wine. Nice Italian red. And here's the deal. 2021. So today I had I took off sick from work after I worked for about two hours. I did have a doctor's appointment this afternoon. Um, the doctor gave me a new medication, which fine. Uh, and not to go into all the details, but you cannot drink alcohol with this medication yep. for like 12 days. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you're kidding me, right? Nope. Oh my God! So, mm, I love you. Wine. And of course, you so find bad. you find that out, and then what do we One get? One of my this favorite wines come fine out. Fine Sicilian Italian. red. So I poured still half a glass is over way away from me. Yep. <laughs> but I'm keeping the other half for me once I can drink wine. Mm -hmm. I might just get drunk on the show, drink them all that I can. <laughs> just start slamming but all okay, the Okay, I'm gonna drink all the ones I couldn't drink. <laughs> So I'm really depressed that I can't, especially an Italian wine. I could smell it. It smells so amazing. It tastes. Does it taste good? It tastes. Make me feel guilty, or not guilty, but bad. This wine will need to age until you're off that medication. <laughs> so, no, and I, we, made, we made an agreement that the reds will stay half, mm -hmm. but if it's a white wine, you can have the whole damn thing. Because I really am not a big fan of white wines, and I don't care about holding on to those. But right. I'll just smell them or whatever. But anyway, so I'm really Never sad does. about that. So sorry, guys. Um, but hopefully, in 12 days, there'll still be time for more advent calendar. All right. Unless the doctor says, now you're going for another 12 days. Um, anyway. But I can open the cookies. Yes. I there, can eat. There was no moratorium although, on cookies. Although he did say you need to lose a little weight. I know. <laughs> well, then we'll eat a little cookie. I am completely aware. And after the first of the year, I know everybody does it. On the first of the year, I'm really good, but I really have to for my health. Um, so anyway, that's another story for later. But I'm going to eat cookies for now. Um, so number five. Maybe it'll be a cookie you don't like. True. Harry and David. Okay. All right. So today, oh, we have two cookies. Ah, good. Good Ah, oh, scandal. This is like the cheese that year. It's the same cookie this looks we had. familiar. Yeah, I think it's the first day. Decorated shortbread cookie. There we go. Well, I guess the good news, though, if there's duplicates in here, is remember the other day there was only one cookie in the package? Mm -hmm. There's a gingerbread with the white in the middle, the cream. Yeah. Now, I don't like gingerbread anyway, but if there's only one cookie, that means there's another one I could have if something like that happens. But actually, here's the yes. funny part. So yesterday we got the same cookie with red. Mm -hmm. Decorated cookie. And I said I was going to eat it during the Bears game, which I did, and the Bears lost. So maybe that had something to do with the cookie. Anyway, but what's interesting is I thought these little things were going to get in my braces, but they don't. They're like sugar. They melt as soon as you bite it. So I was like, oh, thank you. So I could actually yeah. keep this cookie. So this one is mine. I feel okay. like the first two last time. I, I like this one, too. I feel like the first two good. last time by myself. So I was like, I can't eat those because my braces. Yep. But actually, I can. Yep. I can pick up four. I guess we're right. All right, so we're going to try to attempt to do some puzzle here, and then um, we'll come back to play Exit. Um, and hopefully, I can do all these things without falling asleep on this medication. All right. All right, see you in a little bit. Day five for exit, advent calendar. Again, for those who, who are playing this game, don't you know listen to the rest of this video if you want to know any spoilers for day five. Yes. Otherwise, play along with us. Yep. 
All right, December 5th. Today's my turn to read and we're gonna give it a shot. Okay. You take the appropriate blue books from the shelf and suddenly feel like a secret agent in a film. Can the books be tipped forward to release a secret door? As you move the last book, you hear a quiet click and the shelf really does swing aside like a door. Wow, all right. Lucky guy. You enter the room and James Bond feeling does not end. In front of you is a kind of antiquated monitoring station. One of the devices continuously spits out paper with writing on it. Are we in the 70s? <laughs> at, the the end of the <laughs> yeah, at the end of the table. Is that a seismograph? And there on the wall are thy, are thy, thy, thy telescopes. Are, <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't read today. And there on the wall are, it does say, it does, I'm not lying, it says, and there on the wall are they telescopes like you get in submarines. I think somebody had bad English on this, whoever wrote this. Did I, I'm not, not mistaken right. on that, right? On the wall are they telescopes like you get in a submarine. I think it's my script words. But yeah, anyway. a little bit. What are, what, what are they called again? Fingamabali scopes? In any case, you definitely get the impression that surveillance is taking place down here. Hmm. You walk toward a table where a stack of Polaroids lie. 70s. Noisily, you look at the top photo. A person is standing on a dim cave. The photos fall out of your hands as you recognize yourself. You stare at the Polaroids in disbelief. Someone has scribbled 1st December on the bottom edge. Apparently, someone has been watching you from here. You shake off the uneasy feeling that Jeffrey Dahmer's in the next room. It's gets hot feeling. <laughs> <sighs> and, right. I, and by the way, if you haven't watched Dahmer, don't. It makes you sick. Anyway, I mean, I, people like that stuff. I, I don't know why yeah. I watched it. Anyway, um, okay. Apparently someone has watched you from here. You shake off the uneasy feeling. James Bond does not know fear. Then you continue to look around the room. On a cork board hanging a few, on a cork board hang a few notes and souvenirs with dates on them. On one of the notes is something about a certain Reinhold coming closer than anyone else. For some reason, the name Reinhold means something to you, but you don't know what. You then read another note, go through the hatch. And sure enough, there is a hatch on the floor fastened with a... Numbers? Combination lock. <laughs> Numbers. There must be another clue somewhere that you can use to guess the correct code. Mm -hmm. So far, this entire game has been finding three-digit codes. Yep. Uh, now we'll open door number five, and behind right. you will find a riddle card E, one push pin, two discs, strange items. Okay, push here pin. we go. Dangerous. So they mentioned telescopes. Wouldn't it be periscopes? Well, he said the thing with Bob. Oh, okay. He didn't okay. know what to call it. Oh, okay. He's taking pictures of him while he's doing this. Theme music while we open. Yeah, that's five. my Christmas clock. Every right. hour. Everything's kind of lodged in here. Wipe it down. <laughs> Here's a riddle. Riddle card E and, and things. Thing big, big. Oh, here's a push pin in a plastic bag, so you can't get pushed. Make sure there's nothing else in there. Nope. And something that looks like it ripped was still tore too hard. No, I didn't. I <laughs> swear I didn't. Okay, I get what it's supposed to do. But anyway. Huh. And then inside here looks like this looks like yeah, control room on a submarine or something weird. The big pipes and who knows what and uh, some if kind of thing on the floor. If anybody that noise behind Phil, that's my grandfather clock that has decided to have a ghost this year. Yeah. It, it's, we're having somebody come look at it in a couple of weeks because literally it goes, instead of going bing bong, bing bong, it goes bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting yeah. it fixed again. It's my father's clock actually, but mm -hmm. it's not, I keep thinking my dad's clock fixed right now. It's it started it's recently. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Riddle card number E, or letter E. The evidence is clear to see that Reinhold was in search of me. So now your job is just to fix a pin between the circle discs. I was gonna say it looks like a pinwheel, but anyway. The top of the eye should be the circle center to find the days that Reinhold spent here. And then there's a glove, a brush, and a slipper on the bottom of that card if you wanna show the people out there. Okay. There we go. And then there's a spin wheel that we have to put together. You can tell the spin wheel is probably what everybody's pushed in. Yeah. All right, so yeah. we'll figure this out, and we'll be back in just a moment with hopefully the, the answer without looking at the cheat book, like yep. yesterday. Well, again, we didn't really cheat yesterday. We just double checked. We ruled out there. that we weren't doing something wrong. All right. We'll keep saying that until we're blue in the face, aren't we? Yep. Say it? That's <laughs> my right. position. We'll be back. All right. 
we yet again did not use the clue at all this time, not yeah. even to verify, but it took a little while. Yeah, we almost, I, I, at one point I said, get, get the book. Like, no, 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 not yet, not yet. So we kept looking inside the cubby hole and found a pen that looked like a letter I well, let's, or let's something. Let's let's make sure we understand why we're saying yeah. that. Yeah. So basically, first thing we did was we put the wheel together. Just yes. To show the wheel. So we put the wheel together. There you go. The, the push pin, so you don't right. kill yourself the push pin. And, and one part rotates and the other, you know, there you go. Yeah. So basically it says the top of the I should be a circle center. So we're looking in that room for letter I and we cannot find letter I anywhere. Yeah. And then finally I look up and I say, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> right here, do you want to get close to me? Yeah. On the box on the lid, box, if I can get you, there it is. Reinhold was Reinhold here. Reinhold was here. Letter I. <laughs> so you know, push, push, show the push pin on there. And yep. See how so let going. me put the push pin on there. Oh, on letter I. Literally the letter I. Now, I'll explain what it shows you. Basically, in the box or in the cubby hole, it shows three dates mm -hmm. where he's with a glove or a brush or a slipper. Right. So, like, the one might have said, I don't know, June 23rd. It doesn't matter what date. Yeah. He's had to rotate it towards that item right. with the date and, and month. And then, uh, you might be able to see, and then you count the, like, tick marks, the hash marks that show up in the open windows for that date. Yeah. And, and the trouble was, <laughs> we did it once first, and then we're like, well, the number's not right, it's not right, can we try it? And then it re realized the tick marks, one looks like, you know when you do one, two, three, four, five, and you slash across? Mm -hmm. There was one with a slash across, and if you don't look carefully, you're going to assume it's a five. But it's actually a four. It's four. <laughs> Somebody didn't know how to do tick marks correctly, obviously, well, and they were writing they on the did it on, on purpose. On the mountain. <laughs> so, so the answer was seven, two, one, and then mm -hmm. why don't we show? So we we're in number five. So yep. we're going down one, mm -hmm. down to the right one, and directly left. Directly left one. And directly that's left. our number six for tomorrow. That's number six, right Oof, there. Your mama. Whew. That one took a little bit of time because we yep. really did not want to cheat and. Again, we were looking in the room first. And also, I was, as yeah. Phil's in the room looking, 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 I look at the box going, hey, this says Reinhold was here. There's an I. <laughs> it turned out to be the place. So, that's the one thing with exit games. If you guys have never played an exit game, even if you buy the little ones that you can, you know, play uh, once and done, sometimes the whole box is used. Yeah. You, you can never assume it's just the items that they've given you. And I don't think there's a good or bad way to play it. I mean, if you wanted to, I guess you could take a look at the whole box ahead of time and say, well, that's some weird thing that they put over there. But I don't know. I like to kind of hunt for it on the fly. But, you know. All right. So day six tomorrow. I, mean, I think it gets harder each time. At least it feels like it's getting a little harder. <laughs> that, was, that was that a one good took one. a little longer. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. And Phil's going to drink the rest of his wine. Maybe I'll eat both cookies. You know what? Go ahead. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night.